Hello everyone and welcome to Blaugrana Everything and welcome back to the channel and Barcelona won again. Yes, FC Barcelona beat Real Mallorca at home at the camp now by two goals to one in a scoreline that ended up probably being a lot closer than it was on the pitch. Barcelona fielded mostly the team that you would expect them to. There weren't many changes here, only Memphis starting ahead of Ousmane Dembele and it was the Dutchman who ultimately proved I think to be Barcelona's X factor in this game as he gave his defender, Maffeo in particular, a torrid time. The win sees Barcelona of course move back up to second place after Sevilla had overtaken them. But that result means of course Barcelona are two points clear of Sevilla in second place and with that match against Betis coming up, should Barcelona win that game I think it will be safe to say that top four will be secure. Anywho, this is a match review so like I usually do I will take you through the tactical setup but then I will give you my negatives and positives from the match and I'll give you my man of the match after that and I'm thankful for the 2k subs once again uh, I'll be just like throwing up the names of the subscribers every now and then an end credit scene where it's just going to be the names of other subscribers all the people who've helped us move so far in 2022 okay Let's get into the tactical setup. Barcelona, as I hinted earlier, set up with the usual 4-3-3. Nakanji to Stegen in goal. Back four that will come back. Gerard Piquet, though he would then again go off injured. And um, the usual midfield, Frankie, Busquets, and Memphis, like I said, in for Ousmane Dembele, meaning Ferran Torres started out wide on the right. Mallorca, on the other hand, set up in a 3-4-1-2 formation, and it looked like this. Okay, so let's get straight into it and talk about my negatives and my positives. And first up, I will give you my negatives. To start with the fragility that we still saw in the team. Yes, Mallorca put a goal back and it was 2-1 for those last 11 minutes or so, you know, 14 minutes plus added time. And during that time, Barcelona did not look very comfortable. But the crazy thing is that prior to that, Barcelona almost went 3-0 up. Yes, remember the goal that was choked off from Ferran Torres for offside from first Memphis and then also later on I think Aubameyang and Barcelona just did not respond too well to Mallorca putting them under a bit of pressure because they just kept on making some silly mistakes you know giving away unnecessary fouls and failing to pick just like you know easy passes and Mallorca ultimately took advantage of that and put a goal back and um, thankfully they were not able to score any more than that. My second and final negative is the injuries. Once again, like we've seen Jared Piquet here now go off injured, so he's unlikely, I think, to be a part of the, the match against Real Betis. But of course, as well, during the week, we saw a certain Nico Gonzalez pick up an injury, broken toe bone, and you know, he's probably going to be out for the rest of the season. It takes that long usually for, for, for a broken bone to recover fully. And right now, the squad is pretty thin and the injuries have really, really weighed us down you know we still remember about deaths and we know of course Danny Alves as well had to come off today because he's just not looked a hundred percent so injury is definitely another negative from this matchup and I will you know what this week I'm not going to complain about referees so I'll move on to my positives and first and foremost on the positives is of course the return of Ansu Fati. I realize I just spoke about injuries and how much they have plagued us but the crazy part in all of this is that this is the first time this entire season Barcelona have had their full complement of forwards 100% fit. It's the first time everybody has been fit, everybody's available. So it was great to see Ansu come back on. Of course, didn't really expect him to do that much. You know, I know he scored in his last return against Levante, but this time around it was a tighter match and you know, you weren't really expecting to see that kind of thing. But he is back and it's a great option for Barcelona to have, especially in those final 10-15 minutes of games where it might be a bit tight. And my only hope is that Xavi was just experimenting with him in center forward. Maybe he just didn't want to take off Memphis. Anywho, I will move on to my next positive and that just has to be the win. The fact that we got the win, we needed the win coming into this game. We know the run that we've been on. Three losses at home in a row that needed to stop we needed positive momentum as well especially since the other games that we have to play are you know probably harder than Mallorca you know you've got Celta you've got Betis you've got Villarreal those are going to be more challenging than Mallorca and it was great to be able to get the three points here especially because of my next positive it moves Barcelona back up 
into second place. And it's really important here for Barca to secure Champions League football. I cannot stress that enough. Thankfully, both Sevilla and Atleti are looking like they just can't put together a run of wins. I mean, Atleti got Real Madrid up next, followed by Sevilla. Then they got like Real Sociedad on the last game of the season. So, you know, it's that hard for them. And Sevilla as well do have some tricky fixtures to negotiate. So right now, this win puts Barcelona in the driving seat in as far as finishing second goals. Okay, those are my negatives and my positives, which means I am just left with picking a man of the match. And this time around, I thought Memphis Depay came back into the starting 11 for the first time since Cadiz. I think he delivered. He was played down on the left wing in his preferred position, which is where I think he should always play for Barcelona. He did everything right. His link-up play, especially with Frankie de Jong, was pretty good. He was looking sharp whenever he got on the ball. My man of the match, Memphis Depay. That's that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a wrap. Thank you for tuning in once again. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about the match. Are there any other negatives or positives you feel that I left out? And who was your man of the match? Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and Forza Basa.